Hello guys, it's Michael here. It's been a great year. We've had ups and downs, epic moments and not so epic moments. Now the question is, will 2020 do the same thing? Well, we're about to find out. First, we're going to look at some awesome elevators I got this year. Uh, Shane pressed the three. I hope I did. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. This is the this is the freight elevator now that helps all the offices in the our our building of the carpet factory get their deliveries and do their repairs. There's a window at the top of the shaft. Yep. Skylight. Yes, Shane. Except them. I don't know if we're gonna reach it. Oh, maybe we are. This thing is smooth. Oh. Okay, um, there should be, okay, okay, okay. So it slows down and then when it goes I love that the DC top, motor. It'll stop. Now here's one of the two 3300s at the Anin Community Center I got. This video is silent because um, I voiceovered it when I uploaded this. Here's another silent video. This was at the uh, Manin Community Center as well, but this one was a Schindler 400 AE. Okay, this next one was at the Toronto Carpet Factory, 1179 King Street West in Toronto. As you can tell, this elevator has some noises now.
skipping over to October, we have a Schindler 5500 at the Upper Canada Mall in Newmarket, Ontario. This one is epic. This is elevator NE1, capacity um, 1814 kilograms. I wonder if I can get dual indicators on this thing. Elevator is going down. No, it's not going to be easy to do that. Floor one. Well, I tried. Actually, um. Yeah. Elevator is that. Th that's what the lanterns look like. Anyway, there she goes, and that will be it. All right, now okay, we're switching over the trains. Going. This one, we got three trains in one video. I feel like there's another train coming. Let's see the brakes release. No wonder. There's another train. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I can't watch it right now. Oh, be around there. I'll tell you one thing, that's so loud. I'll tell you one thing, that's loud. Okay, there we go. Looks like it had a bit of a, looks like it did a little horn salute to someone. Oh, there, and uh, we have 329 over here. Cab car headed. Wow. What? <laughs> Interesting. Do you think there's an F59PH at the end? Probably not. <laughs> it's a long train. Yeah. Just in time, you know that? Mm hmm. I hear the door closing chime. Okay, this one's going. Still no e-bell. Okay, there we go. Ditch lights. Um. Still can't see the e-bell in there. Early uh, stopping. Okay, I think the signal is still yellow there. It's it's moving pretty slowly right now. Oh my gosh! I think we have a double header. Oh my! Oh my! We have. A, I think. I think. Okay. Okay. Two um Metrolinx cars in a row. And another two coming up. Let's see what we got here. This is. Yeah. Yeah. We got. Yeah. We definitely got a double header with two Metrolinxes. Let's see what we got here. Is do we have FD? No, we don't have any F59s. Let's see if we got the Devil the Devil Express. Okay, uh 673 and 678. No, we didn't get the Devil's cab. There, that's, that's another rare It was also at that moment that I never realized those were two of the new MP54 engines. Here we go. The engineer also gave us a
Heading up north to Mount Albert, we have a beautiful K5H LL from a CN train. Only led by one locomotive. And that same day, we also went to Anglehard Drive to find an old cab car. Sounds like a speeder. Yeah, it is. An old cab car. An old one? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I thought that was the I thought that was the devil. Yeah. Okay, here's an update. Uh, the train's leaving now. All the lights are out. Well, the, the red ones at least. The day after the last day of school, we went downtown, and when we got back, we saw 562 leaving Aurora. And there's, there's, there's the cab we were on, 320. And it's slowing down for some reason. We've saved the best for last. Here it is. And now, ladies and gentlemen, something rare we found. On Thanksgiving Monday, we went down to McNaughton Road and we found two CM really locomotives like on the Barry line. Yeah, this is the this is Oh look okay, here. Is a train. Engine. I'm not waiting for it. This I'm going through. Just, oh what an idiot! What an idiot! Please do not do what that guy did. Did you see that? Mega Rail fan? Train boy 647, open your eyes. This is not a dream. 4785. Looks like this one's just been repainted. Forty-seven eighty-five and um forty-four forty-two forty twenty-eight. Oh my goodness! This is probably the. It's oh, I think it's turning around. Now here's the same train going the other direction. I think it's gonna turn around. All right, people, she's coming back. Gotta get this thing going. Okay, there we go. This also has a very well recorded P5. Wow. I don't even know what kind of horn that is, but oh my god. And there, and there they, and there they go. That one still has the e-bell going. There they go. Really nice one for the book engines. 
Let's see what's happening now. Looks like they're inter looks like they're changing tracks. All that builds up to this: the two locomotives and the two freight cars. Here we go again. This is the fifth time this crossing was activated. It's carrying two freight. It's, it's carrying two freight cars. I think that's a uh, rail sander. Gates aren't up, going up yet. There they go. And there goes that 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 two car freight train. This is that is rare, people. Mega Rail fan, hope you have your eyes open because this is not a dream. You have just saw two CN trains on the Barry Line. There she goes. 2019 has really brought us some epicness. Let's just hope 2020 brings even more. Until next time. Happy New Year, everybody. Subscribe to my channel here. Subscribe for more. See you later. Thank you.